It's time for that V-split tumbler I wanted. <laughs> Y'all can't see me, but I'm dancing over here. Um, this is probably my best ombre spray paint, and it's about to be covered up. Kind of sad. A few little spit, spits of paint, but, you know, it is what it is. I went ahead and put a layer of epoxy on here just because this particular spray paint is very wishy-washy, and I kind of anticipated that it might... Uh, peel off or flake off or whatever as I was handling it. So I just put a thin layer on here. So I don't think I'll end up using the green. It really depends on how much of the vinyl covers that. But for sure, we'll have these really pretty colors there. Just like that. These are from Franz, just like usual. From the neon box that she did in one of the Frenatic boxes. It was a quarterly box. So for this part, we are going to measure, since this is pretty much the same thing all the way around, it's not really where there's like a favorite color or anything. If I was using this one, I'd probably go that way to kind of go with the theme, but I'm not, I'm saving that for something else. So what I'm gonna do is measure how far around the cup it is. I don't want it to overlap too much. Some people like to overlap it and it ends up with a band about that big around. And that's fine. That's just not what I want for this go around. So I'm gonna overlap it a little bit so I don't have to worry about a super teeny tiny point right there. And then I'm gonna measure how far down I wanna go. And then I'm gonna use my ruler to cut that into a point. So here we go. It's not perfect. <laughs> I don't math very well. And I was totally off whenever I was med when I put that line. I don't know where I, where I got that from. It's been a long day, but that's okay because I'm overlapping it anyways. So it really isn't gonna be the end of the world. So what you can do now, you can cut it by hand or you can put it on a grip, I mean on a mat, slice it with either your blade or your roller whatever works. It's not too much to have to th think about, so I'm just going to do it here, especially since I'm going to go over that seam with washi tape or pinstripe thickness vinyl. I like that this leaves me lots of extra vinyl to play with for at least probably two more cups easily two more projects there which I'm really happy about and now just like the hack that I saw the other day that I showed y'all I'm going to put this on here just a little above my rim here just kidding this is a straight cut <laughs> if I was doing one that had a little bit of a taper it wouldn't line up like that, like we want it to. <laughs> I forgot, this totally is a straight. So now to make things easy, I'm going to do wet method to get this on here. What I'll do is get my little cradle, make a hinge here, and just line it up just below my rim, just like that probably high enough to hopefully cover that up, but worst case, I will um, put a little glitter right there. No big deal. I wasn't thinking about that when I 
was spray painting that because the green did not cover it very good at all. Okay, got a little bottle of water there. So what we want to do is kind of create a little flat where we can maneuver this around pretty good. What I have to remember is that I have a little lip here that's not vinyl. So I'm going to use that as my guiding, um, my little compass there. So if I put that up against the rim and press that down, this should be easy to follow from there. Um, when you're doing the wet method, you can squeegee it with your fingers or you can use a little, this is like a makeup brush kind of squeegee thing. It's very easy to reposition if you get something off. It's really nice, like game changer for sure. So I'm just going to do a little piece at a time. <laughs> Obviously, I'm going to struggle with this. <laughs> but that's okay. We'll get there. You can see how smooth that's going on already. I probably have a little bit of little bumps in my epoxy there. I did it really fast last night and I was so tired I forgot to double check for air bubbles. So my biggest concern right now is going to be the stray glitter that I apparently have all over everything right now. I'm struggling here, y'all. Those people that make this look easy, props, man. I struggle with this wet method or not. I struggle with this every time. Just any flat object going onto a curved surface is just not really something that I look forward to. How easy that just goes on there you can just smear it right out you don't even have to deal with as many air bubbles if any sometimes no air bubbles Beautiful. You can go over it with this if you want, just to kind of get the last of your bubbles. Just be sure whatever you do, you don't scratch up your vinyl. So now I'm gonna set this aside so that I have no risk of moisture being underneath there. Squeegee it out and set it aside. And I'll come back to it tomorrow. It's definitely hot enough here that I'm not worried about it taking very long to dry. I love this. It's so fun. If you didn't like that overlap right there, you can use your blade and just bloop, just like that. Whatever works for you. It doesn't bother me too bad, but I am going to go ahead and slice it so I don't have that lifting on me there. let this dry completely and then we'll come back and masking tape it up we'll use regular painters tape and then we'll do our glitter ombre I'm glad that I ended up not not trying to cut it where it had like zero thickness but not so thick that I took away all the green I'm really glad so I uh, will get to do a little bit of green on there I said masking tape earlier. I even showed a piece of masking tape earlier. That's not what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna go electrical tape because I feel like I can manipulate it a little easier 
on a curve and I feel like I just get a little bit crisper lines this way. So what we're gonna do is lay that down right up against it, just like that. Okay, and now we're gonna do the same thing going the other direction. So for this part, because it is just such an awkward little angle, <laughs> I really need to clean up right now. We're just going to go straight down, make a nice finish there. Okay. So I'm going to put this on the turner and we're going to do a thin layer of quick set, do the glitter ombre. 10, 15 minutes later, I'm gonna come in very carefully, very gently, pull the electrical tape off. Once that has cured here, we'll brush off the excess. We will seal it with clear coat. And then I'm going to do probably neon purple and blue in that stripe. That, I feel like that's a good way to get all the colors that I wanna get without being too, too busy. But we'll see, I may change my mind on that, but I'm thinking, you know, with Mod Podge, kind of go blue, purple, and back up to blue. We'll see. But for sure, we're gonna do this with the colors that I showed you a minute ago. There's like two milliliters of epoxy on here. I'm using Liquidy Split. And like I mentioned earlier, I'm not super concerned that my spray paint kind of crackled. It shouldn't be visible by the time we're done doing all this. It's not. I was pretty sure it wouldn't be. So now we ombre like we intended. Just gonna go all the way up and I'll probably bring the yellow down a little way so I can have a teeny bit more green. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. It could use a little bit more blending, but overall, I'm happy with it. So I'm gonna leave well enough alone because I really don't wanna end up messing it up because <laughs> uh, that's definitely a theme. So I'm gonna let this sit for about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna very carefully peel up that electrical tape. I wanna make sure that I don't accidentally lift any of the edges of my vinyl where I overlapped just a little bit. And then we'll let it cure, brush off the excess, seal with clear coat like I mentioned just a second ago. All right, we're gonna take this off of here. Really that was super thin, so honestly I didn't really need to have it on the turner. I just am kind of weird about that. I just normally do. So very slowly. Another reason I'm going slow is I have four other tumblers turning right to my left and I really don't want to shower them with a bunch of neon glitter. It's so pretty. Wish I could use that for something. All right, and now for this side.
Okay. And now we wait. I cannot find my neon purple. No big deal. So I'm just gonna do this right here. And then I'll probably use purple for my pinstripes. We'll see. Not really purple on that vinyl very much anyway, so that's okay. So instead of Mod Podge or Epoxy, I'm actually gonna paint this stripe very carefully with this. And then we'll sprinkle our glitter right on top of the wet paint. Okay, sorry for not recording that process. I am not steady-handed. It's not perfect. In fact, you can kind of see it's a little choppy. That's all right, though. Once it dries, I'm going to brush it off again with my dry brush, which is just the cheapy chip brush. I used this once before for wood grain, but it's not really leave it doesn't it doesn't have enough ink on it theoretically you want to use a completely fresh brush but i don't have any if you want to be real extra it's canned air but that could also knock off too much so this is going to get to dry it's pretty hot so i think it'll dry pretty quickly we'll brush all that off we'll seal it again and then it gets epoxy that stripe right there is a very solid reminder of why I don't do well with paint and glitter or Mod Podge and glitter. I am not steady enough to get that on there evenly and I guess I'm impatient. I don't know. Anyways, I've got it uh, kind of spot checked. There was a couple of little spots that needed a little extra. It's not perfect. That's fine. Uh, so I've got it brushed off and now I have it sealed with clear coat. So now, time for epoxy. So I'm gonna put a layer of liquidy split on here and then once it's pretty smooth, it'll probably take two coats to get it nice and smooth, I'm gonna do the pin striping. I don't have the color purple vinyl that I wanted to try and do vinyl stripes here. So I'm just gonna use my washi tape from Hobby Lobby. I'll just do silver. It'll be pretty. Okay. I came out this morning kind of early and sanded this pretty smooth and then put one more layer of quick set. I'm really glad that things look better under epoxy pretty much as a rule. I got just a couple of wild glitters, little strays. I'm not super concerned. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. So now we do our edging here. And you can do it overlapping, you can do it however. If you want to go over your edges there, you can. Whatever works. Okay, just like that. On this one, I'm going right above it since I do have a little bit of a, a mess to, to camouflage. I had a little bit of wild paint at the top there. This is just washi tape from Hobby Lobby. Nothing super fancy. I've seen people that had um, little strips cut on their Cricut which is really good as well, because then you can really customize with what you want. Mm, that is not where I need it. Before we do that, let's fix it. OK. 
camouflage it like that just a little. This washi tape for some reason has like this powdery stuff on it that I always have to brush off. It's weird, but it's always been like that. You can just kind of use each piece as your guideline on how to trim. Or if you wanted to go right down the middle here and just kind of pick off your pieces accordingly, you could do that as well. And now we do this one. She's pretty. So what I'll do is go ahead and put a thin layer of UV resin right here and here, here and here. Probably just, just kind of spread it thin right there also. I just don't want it to lift on me whenever I do my next layer of epoxy. Just gonna use some of this stuff here. Nothing too thick because if it's too thick, it'll leave a little lump. Then I have to deal with trying to smooth that out. So just kind of spread it out nice and thin. All right, and I'm gonna blast it with my little flashlight. All done. I am definitely gonna run into some separation here on this washi tape. I should have coated it with clear coat spray paint before doing this. Didn't even cross my mind until I saw it start having these little separation spots. I am, hmm. oh well. I'll just babysit it for a little while, but overall, I am satisfied with how this turned out. It's very bright and vibrant and fun. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave it in the comments. The vinyl is from Peachy Olive. The glitters are all from Franz, all four of them, five of them. And the cup is from Stainless Depot. I've got coupons to Franz and Stainless Depot. I don't think that Peachy Olive does coupons, but they have an app and you can download the app and you can get a heads up on their sales and exclusive offers. I haven't had it very long to really know what kind of offers will come through, but uh, it's there. It, it exists. If you like my content, please consider subscribing. Uh, like I said, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it. And have a good one.